Hi guys and welcome. So I have some equipment. We are doing upper my back mobility and prehab. We're going to use a roller, bands, and let's get started. So first we're going to do a lat release. The lat runs down here and often a tight muscle that causes so many idiosyncrasies. So let's get to it. <laughs> um, so you're going to place this under the lat area. And you're going to roll on it and maybe roll open or maybe not. You're going to find some sensitive spots. Now, the options are with these sensitive spots is to keep rolling, is to hold on to this moment and stay there for 10 and breathe. So in, hold, out. And then from there, if you want to do a pin and stretch, just bring the arm in and release it overhead. And oh la la, this is so intense. I am trying to smile, but this is hard. And you can do some overhead releases, pin and stretch, and then find another ooh la la spot and do the same. So just from the behind, so you can see, you're going to place it under the lat, and let's get to it, and we're gonna roll. And each side will be different to the other side. And you find your sensitive spots, maybe you stay there and you do some mindful breathing, maybe you reach up overhead like this, doing some pin and stretch, all the while releasing that wonderful, strong, capable muscle so it can function better for us. And slowly, 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 come up. <laughs> so, from there, we're going to do a rotation. You're going to sit on all fours and you're going to place your elbow on the outside of the knee. That is on the same corresponding side and a hand behind your head where that floppy bony bit is. And then you're going to inhale and rotate up. Exhale, rotate down, follow with your eyes. Inhale, rotate up. Now as I'm rotating up, I'm pushing up out of my shoulder blade, squeezing my shoulder blades together. And I'm not doing any wiggling with my bottom. It's not moving to the left or right as I rotate. It's staying fully, fully, fully seated on my heels. So we do one side and then we do the other side. And remember both sides will be different and that's okay. That's part of the process. So we do around five to 10 or maybe 30 seconds, really push up out of the shoulder, don't sink in, okay? Beautiful, okay. So we're going to lie down and we're going to do a T arm lift, keeping our head down, but chin is tucked. So we've got a lovely double chin, double trouble. And we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep your ribs lifted and your belly lifted, so core active, head down. And from here, lifting up and release. Lifting up, squeeze the shoulder blades together and release. Up, hold, release. So it's led by the scapula, so it's not led by the arms. It is the scapula squeezing together, squeezing into each other, down back into your spine and releasing down. Nice. <laughs> so we're going to drive the car now to help build strength in the shoulders and the arms. So a little bit of band work. Sometimes people use a weight in the gym and do this. So I'm going to push against the band and then I'm going to rotate one side then the other. And I'm going to have a resistance that is Tension, but not over tension. That is able to have the arms pushing straight and controlling so they're not coming in and out as I do this. I would look for like to do each exercise for 30 seconds instead of reps because that way you can do quality over quantity. <laughs> so from there, this is a funny one. You're going to place the band onto your head. So for anyone who's had neck issues or tension, if there's any tension in this or nerve radiation, then drop back. It's taken me um, over a year to be able to do these types of exercises from my own injury. Placing the band around. You're going to cross over and you're going to chin tuck here. So excuse my excellent funny look. 
my hair band is in the way. Okay. From here, I'm going to pull my chin back and I'm going to pull over to the left side here and I'm going to resist with my head with the chin tuck. And I'm going to pull over to my right side and resist with my head with a chin tuck. So I'm creating isometric strength from left and right side with that chin tuck. This is really, really important for the stabilizing muscles and support. And you want to hold around 30 seconds as you do that. From there, we're going to go for two more exercises. One is we're in a dolphin. And from this dolphin, we are going to push up into this dolphin here. Then we're going to push back down on our knees, squeeze our shoulder blades, open our shoulder blades and push up. Coming back on our knees, squeeze, open, push up. Again, 30 seconds. And finally, to finish it off, we're going to go here, arms overhead, and your legs are in the tabletop position and you're going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg. A dead bug. But I have not ever seen a dead bug do this. Usually they don't move. <laughs> so here are your exercises. Doing it regularly three to four times a week is going to make a difference. Listen to your body if you have injuries. Understand that some of these exercises may not be for you and you may need to work up. So these exercises I've been working on over a year to progress from when I was injured to now. So it's a slow process because I had nerve issues going on and I didn't want to push those nerve issues to get worse. So I had to wait till they receded and weren't continually staying strong 24 hours after I was doing these exercises. So pain will occur, but it has to be able to get better after, done, after you've done exercises. So don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe. Regularly coming back to this is what's gonna help. Namaste.